Hi, hello guys, welcome to IS Expertise channel. Today we will know about types of gland succulents or shrinking glands. Coming to the introduction, gland succulents refers to the shrinking or shifting of its surface caused by variety of natural and human induced processes. It is a gradual lowering of gland surface caused by natural processes such as soil compaction that means compression of soil or dissolution of rock layers which are present between the soil layers as well as human activities such as groundwater pumping, oil and gas extraction and construction of underground structures like tunnels. Subsidence can also occur along coastlines due to sea level rise caused by global warming. Coming to the effects of land subsidence, land subsidence can land subsidence can have a range of impacts such as damaging buildings and infrastructures, altering the drainage patterns, and increasing the risk of flooding. That means it will alter the course of rivers. This can increase the risk of flooding, affecting the water table and Fire. That means groundwater levels. Ecological damage, like there will be damage to nearby trees and okay. And financial losses, like destruction of, there will be financial loss due to damaged agriculture. No tourism and no infrastructure. As you can see in this picture, there are different types of there are different types of things. Like as you can see, there is a surface fault and there is a debris, which is a damage pan, and there will be a regional thing. The whole area or whole village or particular kilometers of particular area is sinking. It's called as regional sinking. When coming to the focus sinking, in in regional sink, there will be a particular spot where sinking starts. This called as focus sinking. You can find it features also. When it is sinking, these are all due to pumping wells, fully consolidated sediments, etc. Types of land subsidence. First one is compaction subsidence. This occurs when the ground surface sinks as a result of compaction of soil, often caused by over extraction of groundwater or heavy loading on land surfaces, like building of Infrastructure, heavy infrastructures. Second one is fluid withdrawal substance. This occurs when the ground surface sinks as a result of withdrawal of subsurface fluid such as groundwater, oil, or natural gas. This can happen in areas where there is a heavy pumping of groundwater or large scale extraction of oil and gas, commonly seen in major cities. But there will be a heavy pumping of groundwater. Collapse subsidence. This occurs when the ground surface sinks as a result of collapse of underground caves, mines, and other subsurface features. Thermoelastic subsidence. This occurs when the ground surface sinks as a result of changes in temperature, such as when cold water is injected into aquifer to enhance the oil recovery. Another example is permafrost, in which the soil is covered by ice. When ice melts, the space is filled by soil and it starts sinking. Reactive subsidence. This occurs when the ground surface sinks as a result of 
changes in the moisture content of soil, such as when dry area receives heavy rainfall. Tectonic subsidence. This occurs when land sinks as a result of tectonic plate movements, mostly seen in Himalayan region. Because they are youngest mountains in the world and seismic activities is active in this region. Coastal subsidence caused by sea level rise due to global warming. If you like this video, please do subscribe to our channel and click on bell icon for latest videos. Thank you.